YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today was a really good day for making coins on FIFA 23. And in this video, we are going to be looking at FIFA investments for League and Team of the Season. FIFA investments into fodder and trading that we can be doing with some panic that we may be getting from an SBC slash pack that is leaked to be coming out. But before we do all that, we got to talk about content today on Saturday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Saturday was exactly how we expected it to be. The objective said, you know, two SBCs that we were supposed to be getting today, and we got those two SBCs, and that was it. No player SBC, like we got Rafinha yesterday, nothing there, but we got the Icon SBC with Puskas. He cost just over a million coins, and to do the loan section, you know, the required SBC that gives you the XP, you just need a full gold rare squad. And this is Puskas right here. Expensive, but you know, right around where his foot birthday was priced at anyway, so not that big of a deal. And team of the season challenge number six. This is the SBC we were talking about in the previous video for making a lot of coins. I talked about it on Discord. I talked about it on Twitch. We talked about it in the YouTube videos because trading with these team of the season challenge SBCs has been really good and it was the same today we were hoping maybe that the pack would have been tradable because the last time with bundesliga team of the season they made it tradable and it caused a lot of panic on the market and it allowed us to do a lot of investments but untradable it's fine not that big of a deal but the sbc was really good though some of the positions that we mentioned you know we were just guessing if you wanted to gamble and buy early i threw a i mentioned a few players that are pretty good no left mid, no right mid. Instead, it was left wing and right wing. You actually could have taken, uh, like one of the left mids I mentioned was Morales. He was 650 coins. You could have used him, position modified him, and sold him for like 4,000, 5,000 coins, anywhere around there. So that was actually, you know, decent little way of still making coins, even though the investment didn't go the way we wanted. I mean, it was just a gamble on hoping you get the position right. But this SBC, 80 overall as we expected and the chemistry was 31 so really really solid now sbc solution trading didn't do too good we were hoping sbc solution trading would be a great way of making coins today and i think the issue is you can't you can't really see it too much but this is all the requirements it wasn't hard to do the sbc because sometimes there's like a nation requirement or or maybe max players from same league something like that but this was players from the same league minimum five so it was really just hey pick a league by the positions and, and there you go so sbc solution trading wise cards weren't flying too much but if you were on right away and you made some moves there were players that flew like immediately i went out and said yo guys la liga left wing and right wing same thing with premier league but we went for la liga first and these guys went up a lot I think the right wings were all below a thousand coins and they went up to 3000 coins. They're still up in price. You can see right here, there's still 2000 coins. And for the left wing, it's really just on Sufati and on Sufati was, I think he was like below a thousand coins, 800, 900, somewhere around there. And he went all the way. I think he was three, five, almost 4,000. He may have actually been like 4,000 coins. So really good. If you were on that content and you made some moves, I mean, we tripled more than more than tripled our coins if you sold at the right time. But it was a really good, you know, good. If you were on that content, it was good for making coins. But then afterwards with the SBC solutions, we couldn't really trade with it for the rest of the day. It was kind of it's kind of blah, but a lot of coins to be made there. The left backs and right backs, they went up like a tiny bit. It wasn't anything crazy. Center backs only went up like a couple hundred coins. Nothing too insane flying there. But that was the team of the season challenge SBC insane for investing at content on sufati corona um ferran torres those cards did really good solution trading meh market in general let's talk about the market you know if you're buying stuff for your team it's the same thing uh, i mean i just repeat myself basically every day la liga team of the season is down in price that's usually what happens on saturdays team of the season cards come down in price after content drop and then especially when some of the big packs come out because i believe saturday i Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe Saturday has been the day for that massive like 500k pack or whatever it is. I know 
you know, it's untradeable, but it, it does affect the market a little bit and just more supply on Saturday and more supply from people going through weekend league. The cards just continue to drop and the La Liga team of season cards are just going to continue to drop. And uh, the other part of the market in general, I think icons can potentially drop with some of the stuff that is leaked to be coming out. And I just, the whole market is just, I just predict down. Uh, we're at that point where most stuff, a good amount of stuff is either just staying still or going down. There are, you know, maybe some exceptions on cards that can be rebounding, but in general, down is my uh, take on the market. Now, let's go over investments. La Liga investments. Vinicius Jr., Adair Militao, any of the special cards, they are being sold. And it's as simple as that. They did really good. We bought Vinicius Jr. when he was around 11K, when he was around 12K, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I was even buying at 18K. And he was 20,750 coins earlier. He is, you know, basically still around that price. His max price is 21K. He can't go higher than that. So there we go. Start selling him. A Dermali Tau was 10K. That's his max price. Uh, a lot of the cards are up a lot. And you can probably look to start taking your profit on them. Now, the special cards, you probably want to take your profit on them as well. The center backs especially have done the best. Like I bought Kunde for 65K. He's 85K. One of the ones that's doing really good is Araujo, actually. He's... Boy, he's very close to being extinct with the World Cup one, but then I think it's his future star one, like this one right here. This guy is max price. He, uh, we said this on stream. We someone like mentioned, yo, look at Araujo, he's flown. When you look at La Liga here, I think I have a window capture. Do I? Mm, let's do this. I'm gonna pull it up so you guys can see window capture and boom so here we go squad la liga when you look at it for center backs you have a dare militao who's been chilling at two mil plus you have kunde who's been chilling at one mil and that's it for center backs you, you got a 27k david garcia who's, who's really not that good so I think what we want to maybe look out for when Goon team of the season comes out next look for like a position where either it's lacking like say there's really just nothing good or maybe there's no left back that comes out something like that or a position that's too expensive so the center backs they're too expensive two mil of their militao and one mil kunde so because of that who goes up these cards go up in price he araho was like 220 200k around there and he went all the way up the i mean extinct pretty much this is the only one on the market at 360,000 coins if i check he was down at 200k 220k going into friday so we're gonna keep an eye out on stuff like that for legoon team of the season but i'm gonna wait until it actually releases i'm not gonna do any predictions for if i'm going to make a move like that i'm gonna wait and then on friday right before content when we see some of the leaks come out i'll then make a move so that is la liga investments the golds you're selling and the specials you're selling you'll see in my transfer list i'm slowly uh starting to get rid of some of these cards i have a few of them in my club still because i am doing the la liga objective the team of the season cup thing trying to get a la liga team of the season player pack and that's la liga good profit there only a couple of them i'm getting clapped on it's by a couple of them it's really just valverde i got kind of screwed on the price range update that he got hit with and Lagoon. Let's talk about Lagoon Investments. That is what I'm full sending. You guys know that. Lagoon Investments. Full send. You can do fodder as well, but I'm all in on some of these Lagoon cards. If you were in the stream, I've been buying Hakimi. I was buying this dude who was 82, 83, 84, 85, and I've been buying him still around 90,000 coins. And if we check him out now, he is going for 98,000 coins. I... I've been getting some decent deals. I mean, you can see there, 91K on bid. Uh, the, the, one of the reasons why I'm buying someone like Hakimi, the idea behind that is, I mean, you can look at, who was it? There was a Bundesliga player that rose a good amount that was around this price. I can't remember who it was. Was it Delict? No, I can't remember. But basically the idea is, I mean, I'm hoping he gets a team of the season. I, I would say it's probably likely he gets a team of the season. But if he does get a team of the season card, it's probably going to be fairly expensive. You would expect it to cost a decent amount. And if it does cost a decent amount, what happens? The team of the week, Hakimi, would go up in price. So 
that's kind of my move there on why I'm buying Team of the Week at Gimme. He's also just going to rise as we go into Ligue 1 Team of the Season before it even gets released, as more and more people probably decide to start investing. So I'm picking up Team of the Week cards like, you know, the Nuno Mendes I've bought. I've been buying Neymar because he's, I'm hoping, he get, if he gets a Team of the Season, I hope he goes to like 30,000 coins. I would hope. I mean, we'll see. I'm picking him up. I was buying them all day yesterday for like, I probably paid 23K on average because I was I was buying them at like 24, but then I was getting a bunch of snipes at like 20K, 21K. So I think I even got one at 19K. So my average buy price on Neymar, I think is around 23K, but I'm going to buy a few more. My average buy price is around 23. It's probably going to be more so around 24K once I finish buying because I got to pay like 25,000 coins now to buy Neymar. Uh, one card that I mentioned multiple, multiple times, Hakimi, he's going to be just like Alfonso Davies. He's probably going extinct at 10,000 coins easily, easily. I mean, I'd be shocked if Hakimi doesn't go extinct at 10,000 coins. The thing is, if we look up Hakimi's price real quick, let's go take a peek at gold Hakimi. He's already up in price. He's been chilling at like 7k the past two days and it's been pretty easy to buy and it's like all right you're buying them for 7k every single card you're just thinking about it hey i'm making 2500 coins on this card but now if we look at him he is up in price how much is he seven oh shoot am i gonna pick up a few right here seven two seven five i mean if i buy it seven five i'm, I'm just thinking about it i'm making 2k per card right there that's 2000 coins 2000 coins i just made 4000 coins I'd be shocked if this dude doesn't go extinct at 10k. So that's that with Hakimi and the cards that I'm buying. I'm all in on Ligoon investments. My, I'd probably say the two I've spent the most on is Gold Neymar and Team of the Week Hakimi. I would say because Team of the Week Hakimi is almost he's like 80k per card, and I have I'd say there's a few in my unassigned list right here, and then we have one, two three, four, I, I got a lot of them. Uh, I'd say maybe almost two mil or maybe more than two mil worth of team of the week Hakimi. And I think I have around like three mil maybe of gold Neymar. And uh, that's that with my league good investments. Now let's talk about fodder guys. Let's go into fodder really quick. I actually had this on my screen. If you join the stream, gold rares, you guys know the whole situation with gold rares. If you're doing Gold rares, um, they're probably going to go to 950 to 1,000 coins, somewhere in that range. There's no objective that is like, hey, do the premium La Liga upgrade SPC multiple times. So gold rares, 600 coins. It, you can do 650 as well, but 600 coins, expect to sell for 950 probably, and you'll make, you'll get 900 coins from it. If you buy it 600, you make 300 coins per card. whoop de doo if you want to do that, go for it. Also, uh, since we're talking about something that's like super low budget, I want to mention bronze rares. Guys, if you did the bronze rare investment, really good. I told you guys, what, when was it? Like Wednesday and Thursday to buy gold rares for 150 coins. They weren't even selling. They weren't even selling at 150 coins. They were expiring and no one was buying them. And now they are 300 coins. They were like 400 at content. Tomorrow, we're getting another Icon SPC on Sunday. And then on Monday, we're getting another player, Icon player SPC. I think we're getting we're getting Makalele and Komon still. So they're going to go up in price even more. I would say if you bought these for 150, start listing them up for like 450 to 500 coins. And you're basically tripling your coins. So there you go on the bronze rares. You know, I just, I threw it out there because it's a good investment, but it's just a pain in the butt to buy them all. But if you did it, bravo, you're making decent coins. Now, uh, fodder, we need to go to this screen. Before we talk about fodder, let's talk about what we are expecting. So when it comes to fodder, 84, 85, 86, 83, 84, 85 are the three I'm watching the most, but we're going to look at 86 and 87s as well. Now, tomorrow on Sunday, a, a leak account, we've been, we were expecting it, but a leak account has also come out and just said, hey, the icon SBC we currently have that released on Sunday is going to refresh again tomorrow on Sunday. So that was expected. And the leak account, I mean, it's like a half trustworthy one. So I'm going to trust it. And um, it just makes sense. It's what they do. Whenever a new SBC comes out on Sunday, like a big icon or a hero, they just release it again the very next week. So 
We're going to look at fodder and how it moved with that. But also we're going to think about, okay, on Monday, we are probably getting an 81 plus times 11 La Liga SBC. And if we look, we'll go to active SBCs and just look at the ones that we've been getting recently when we pull up team of the season, Bundesliga. No, wrong one. 81. I got to look at the expired. Ah, I got to look at the expired. Okay. Hold up. Uh, expired. Here we go. We're going to do this, but the 81 plus times 11, we got it with premier league and we got it with Bundesliga and we are expecting to get it with La Liga. So here we go. Bundesliga, Premier League. We'll just take a peek at these real quick. 82 overall squad, 85 overall squad. It's basically the same thing with La Liga. I think it was 83 and 85 overall squad. So that's what we are going to be expecting there. So we're just kind of thinking about what we're getting for content and what fodder might do good. So 81 times 11 on Monday, Icon SBC tomorrow on Sunday, and Team of the Season SBCs Tuesday and Wednesday. I think it's MLS Team of the Season for Tuesday and then La Liga for Wednesday. So let's just look at the graphs and see what moved. So if we look at Sunday, if we look at the prices, this is where are we at. Am I at the right week? Yes, I am. Okay. We are in the right spot. So this is Sunday. 84s were below 3,000 coins. The Icon SBC comes out and they shoot up to 4,600 coins, chilling at around 4,000 coins. And then Monday, when the 81 times 11 comes out, they go from 3,500 back up to almost 4,000 again. And then I believe Friday, I don't know what the heck happened on Friday. Maybe it was just the icon refreshing again on Friday that made them shoot up. So that's what happened with 84s. They seem like they might be somewhat decent for that icon SBC coming out tomorrow on Sunday. Now, do not expect we are not going to be seeing the same kind of rise. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's not a new SBC. It is an SBC we've already had before. So it's not, there's not as much hype. So you're not going to see this crazy jump. I, I You're probably not even going to, you're not, you're going to see a rise tomorrow on Sunday, but you're not going to see anything insane. You won't see anything significant. That's like, oh my God, this is incredible. Uh, here we go for 85s. This is Phil Foden. And if we look on Sunday, Phil Foden went from 6,000 coins, 85s were 6K, and then went up to over 7,000 coins. And then with the SBC on Monday, the 80 one plus times 11 that we should be getting. You can see every day shoots up in price after content down at 6K. We have content drop up at 7K. And then we see for Tuesday content drop is 16. 16, by the way, is the, I don't know how the hell to say those. What is it? 1600. Is that what they say it? Is that how they, how they say it? But that's what, what time is that for me? That's, uh, I don't know how my time is on this. I forget. I just know that that's content drop. I, I don't know what time zone I'm in on flipping at the moment because I think you can choose local time or not local. But uh, Monday, you see the jump up. And then on Tuesday, content drop, you see the jump up again after content drop. So I'm like, okay, 85s, we're probably going to get that 85 requirement again with the 81 plus times 11. We had it with Premier League. We had it with Bundesliga. Maybe they keep doing that. So 85s don't seem like a terrible move. It's just like all the fodder's high at the moment. Here's the, like, that's the issue. A lot of fodder is just high. It hasn't really dropped. But then we see on Wednesday with the, the Bundesliga team of season upgrade, they flew. Now 86s, we'll take a quick peek at these. We're just going over these cards. Then I'll go over some prices that I like. They were 8,000 coins. And then the SBC comes out on Sunday and they shot up to, what are we at? Like 10,000 coins. And then you can see when the 81 plus refreshes every single day on Monday, they came back down to 9,000 coins, shot back up to 10,000 coins when the 81 times 11 SBC came out. And then same thing on Tuesday, they were down in price, shot back up in price to almost 11K. They were down at 9K, back up to almost 11K when the 81 plus times 11 SBC came out. So I really like the eight. I'm honestly, 86s even work. 85, 86s look like they are going up in price with the 85 with the 81 plus times 11 that is expected to come out on Monday and refresh every single day. 87s is where I kind of draw the line a little bit and they just, they, they look very meh and they're not down enough at the moment. They're not down enough for me. So I'm definitely not looking at 87s. Here's 83s as well. They did pretty good on Sunday. I know all the requirements were fairly high, 
but if you know the requirement's fairly high you can use higher rated cards and then fill it in with 83s so they went from close to a thousand coins up to two thousand coins and then they kind of just chilled around 2000 coins going into wednesday that's usually when you do sell your 83 so let's talk about fodder and prices you can choose whichever one you want and i mean we can even fluctuation trade with these say these cards rise on sunday if you buy any fodder i'm giving prices and you guys can choose which rating you want just know the the rating that flies is whichever one gets if there is one that gets required that's when you see something fly like those 85s the jump that you see on 85s right here is because what did we get an sbc that required 285s minimum it was like an 83 overall squad but it said 285s minimum needed that is what you need for fodder to fly fly but like we can't predict that so i'm going to give you guys prices you choose and it's as simple as that but like i don't think you're going to lose coins if you're buying at some of these prices so Looking at cheapest player by rating, we have 83s. They are down in price right now. They'll probably come down a bit more as the night goes on, but it, it, they're chilling at like 1,600, 1,700 coins. I would expect them to at least go back to around 2,000 coins. I would say at least. So 83s, 1,600 max. Try to get for closer to 1,500 coins on bid. It shouldn't be too hard on bid, I would say. It, I it's the 100 to a 200 coin undercut. That should be pretty easy to get. Now, 84s are below 4,000 coins. I try to get them. They're 3,700 coins. I try to get them for closer to 3.5. I like the 3.5 mark, but absolute max I would pay is like 3.6, maybe, maybe 3.7 if you're pushing it. 85s, I mean, if you can get them for 7,000 coins, I'd say that sounds great, but it looks like they're chilling more so around like 7.3. 74 but if you can get for anywhere in the low 7000s let's say that anywhere in the low 7000s 7000 would be perfect i'd look to make that move and then 86s anything below probably anything below 9500 coins you're going to want them for closer to 9k like look they're 9400 coins try to get them on bid for like 9192 or you know 9000 coins i would prefer 9000 coins and that's my take on fodder you can choose your rating and wow, this video is really long. Holy crap. I didn't think the fodder was going to take that long. We, it takes a long time to go through all those ratings. Oh my God. Okay. But yeah, basically whatever gets required, but fluctuation trading. If you see any of those ratings rise tomorrow on Sunday, you can sell and then wait for it to maybe come down at nighttime. Cause what happens at content, people are doing SBCs at nighttime. People are asleep, not buying the cards. They come down in price content. They're doing the SBCs. They go up in price. It's as simple as that. So you can buy the lows, sell the highs fluctuation trade. Uh, that's that with fodder icon 81 times 11 Monday, Timmy season, SBCs Tuesday and Wednesday. We talked about gold rares. I want to talk about icon trading as well, because we are leaked to be getting some sort of, well, we're getting the icon SBC tomorrow on Sunday and there's in the store. We're supposedly getting an I two icon packs, the 90 plus mid or prime icon pack. I believe it is. And then the 90 plus team of the year trophy it, there's another uh, there's two icon packs that are supposed to come out in the store so there could be some panic on icons and you could potentially trade with icons you guys know how i trade with icons i just sit and i i look up icon that's literally all i do i go icon and i search and i look for cards with bids and then you just look them up on flipping and see if they're low and if they're low you buy them on their low trend and i'm just saying there could be some panic and there could be some low trends if we do get those icon packs in the store and maybe just from the icon SBC. So keep an eye on that. And we went over all the expected content Sunday, icon SBC, Monday. Well, tomorrow on Sunday, icon player SBC, icon pack SBC, um, Monday, 81 times 11, Tuesday, Monday, upgrade SBCs as well. Tuesday, team of season SBC, Wednesday, team of season SBC. All right, that's it. Any questions, comment section down below. Thank you guys. Oh, Twitch live stream, free trading Discord, description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.